KHOU 11 exclusive. Several families are speaking out after they say someone stole expensive gold necklaces right off their parents' necks. One of those thefts was even caught on camera. Michelle Choi joins us live in Fort Bend County. Where it happened, Michelle, you spoke with all three families. I did, and these families are worried that these suspects are targeting older parents living in the Richmond area's South Asian community. I'm told all three thefts occurred last weekend here in the Aliana neighborhood while the victims were just out walking and taking a stroll either in the morning or evening. Walking in their own neighborhood is now a challenge for Jotsna's parents. They were traumatized completely that day and even till today. Worried about safety, she asked me not show her face, but she's sharing her parents' story, hoping to prevent others from falling victim. She says last weekend her mom and dad were taking separate morning walks when they were approached by this gray car spotted on a neighbor's surveillance camera. Jotsna says her mom had the first encounter. There were two females and one male. The lady in the front seat, she got down and she said, wait, 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 we need to talk to you. And then she came down and she handed off a fake gold chain, put it around her neck. And then uh, she started saying, my mom is super sick, so you need to pray for her. Please pray with us. And then suddenly my mom could send something cut off uh, and that was her gold chain. She says her mom's traditional gold wedding necklace, known as a manga sutra, was taken right off of her neck. The suspects took off and minutes later, Jotsna says they targeted her dad too. Uh, the same story continued with my dad. They asked help and then one of the ladies comes down and she hugs him and cuts both of his chains. That interaction caught on another neighbor's surveillance video. Both times, she says the thieves distracted their victims by giving them cheap golden bangles like these as they cut off the real gold necklaces worth thousands of dollars. Less than 24 hours later, Junaid Akkam says the same thing happened to his mother-in-law. I kept asking her, her age and are you from India? Please pray for my mom. And uh, I think in the, in the process, she, though she was having a scarf around her head, head, but they still managed to access the chain and took off the chain. Hima Swami's mother also fell victim, even though Hima was right there with her at the time. The lady rolled down her window. She asked, oh, is there a hospital? I'm looking for a hospital. You know, she just said so automatically because it's in your neighborhood. It's in the morning. You don't think of, oh, you know, this is something to be scared of. She says while she and her mom were distracted, the thieves managed to steal her mom's wedding necklace worth $10,000. Even worse, she says they've stolen her peace of mind. That paranoia has set in and it's very, very unnerving. But I'm glad that, you know, there was no physical harm. That's what I keep telling my mom. Yeah, these families say that they have also heard of similar crimes happening in North Texas. It's unclear right now if the same suspects are involved. Meanwhile, all three families have since filed a police report, and the Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office tells us they are investigating. Len, back to you. Very disturbing when you cannot take a walk in your own neighborhood. Michelle, thank you.